It's Friday, it's the weekend, and we're going to be leaving Guernsey for the first time in nine months. And we'll get ready in three, two, one. Almost there, not quite. That's more like it, let's get going. We have decided to come back to the island of Sark for the second time to kick off our 2021 holidays. Yeah, so the last time we didn't research this properly, we decided to come over and check out the stars on the world's first dark sky island. However, we came right at the time of full moon. I know, we did actually learn from that lesson. We researched and researched, we decided to come. We booked our trip this time at a new moon. However, the weather has decided to not cooperate at all. It was so clear this morning, we were in work, we were getting our hopes up and then the clouds just went bang as soon as we finished work and it is so cloudy now. But you never know, mother nature is a fickle thing, hopefully the skies turn clear. So Sark is one of the islands in the bailiwick of Guernsey, it's just about an hour's boat ride from Guernsey and it's one of the first islands in the world to be declared a dark sky island, I think it was actually the first island in the world and that's because there's literally no street lights at all on Sark, there's no cars, there's no outdoor lighting at all and the only way to get around is either by tractor, by walking or by bicycle. So therefore it's a really peaceful place to come away for a retreat if you want some time away from the chaos of Guernsey. Yeah, and last time we came to Sark, we actually camped. We've decided to go a little bit more luxurious this time because if you remember and you watched that video last time, guys, we did not get any good sleeps when we were on that campsite between staying up all night trying to capture the stars and between youths partying all night. Gosh darn kids. <laughs> so we're just getting too old for this stuff. We've come to stay at a brand new homestay. It's run by actually one of my friends from work and it's called the Chill In Homestay. It's so comfortable and so cosy and just very, very homely. And I'm very uh, uh, happy with how it's actually turned out. And so if I'm gonna show you guys around, it's the biggest and most comfortable bed we've stayed in in a long time. Yeah. So I cannot wait for, I'm hoping that we're gonna get a good night's sleep in it. But if, it, if the sky does clear up, we're not gonna be spending any of the night in that bed. We're gonna be out there shooting stars. Oh, dinner was delicious, as you could probably have heard. It was very, very noisy, so we couldn't actually do any talking in there. But my belly is full. I am so content. The weather is not agreeing with us. We're absolutely shattered. We're going to get an early night tonight. It's just turned nine o'clock, and we're going to get up for sunrise and try and check out one of these belter sunrises Helen was talking about. So we'll sign this off just now, guys, and we'll see you guys in the morning. a little bit slow to get started this morning i think it's just like our brains switched off into holiday mode and like i had such a good sleep it was like so comfortable peaceful it was the just most luxurious perfect. mattress i've experienced in a long time it was so so comfy and cozy yeah so i feel i'm a bit kind of like oh. <laughs> <laughs> i actually overslept my alarm i meant to get up for sunrise but my alarm didn't wake me up so I woke up nicely at half past six instead, gonna have a coffee and have a chill morning before we go out for breakfast. Now, the chill-in's the homestay, 
there is actually tea and coffees here on site. Like you just, uh, Helen just asked to give a little donation if you ever decide to use it and you're free to use any of the facilities. So I think what we're going to do is have a cup of coffee. Gemma's not going to have any coffee because she's weird, she doesn't drink coffee. And then we're going to get ready and go out for breakfast. and we've gone for the veggie breakfast which looks so good and there's so much food we try to fill ourselves up for the day mm. can't wait to get stuck in Okay, so breakfast was really good. The rain's dried off a little bit. We're gonna go for a quick wander around the island and show some sites that we didn't actually show in the last video. Starting with some of the buildings in Sark that are a little bit smaller than what you would actually expect. That is the island's courthouse. That's the island's fire station. And this is Sark Prison, where they keep the deadliest and most vilified criminals on the island. There's one bed and the last time it was occupied was over a year ago. I think it's definitely one of the smallest prisons in the world. And out of all the bizarre things that there is to see in Sark, Le Coupe has to top it all. It's a concrete bridge, well, not really bridge, concrete walkway, which links Big Sark with Little Sark. Now, back many, many years ago, people actually used to have to crawl along to get in between Big Sark and Little Sark, as it was a muddy pathway, which was at the longest bit six foot long. So we're very grateful for the concrete path that's been built today. And this is what you can experience sometimes on Le Coupier traffic jam, because we're going to need to get out of the way of that tractor. There's literally nowhere we can hide on this tiny little bridge. I believe the part Gemma was talking about, this only, it was only six foot wide, it's probably down at this end because it looks like it's no longer than six foot wide here as well. And I think it was on a really windy morning, the school kids actually had to crawl across it to avoid getting blown off the side and probably down about two or 300 feet to the bottom. It's actually getting pretty close to low tide now, which is really good for us because we're gonna go and try and hit up the rock pools, which are on Little Sark. But last time we were here, it was closer to high tide and there wasn't as much beach on show, but it's really, really cool actually looking down at it now because you can get a pathway down to the beach which sits on the uh, Guernsey side of the island. I, th I believe that's the west coast, yep. And you can get a, you can walk all the way down to there onto the beach and there's apparently a few caves and stuff. Our friend Ben went down, he showed it in his YouTube video and there's a, some really, really cool caves which look out west towards Guernsey. So if you're into, into your photography, that might be a good shout if you wanna head down to there. Oh, and oh my goodness, just as we passed the Le Coupe, the sun started to make an appearance, which is looking very good because Gemma's gonna go and do a cannonball in the Venus pools, she just said. Yeah. So hopefully it stays nice and sunny for us when we can try and find the Venus pools. That's our next big challenge because we've never actually been there before. On the downside, I am so muddy. That is not good shoes for this weather. Gemma's wearing big boots, that's what I should have done. I'm wearing stupid wee trainers. And a beige hoodie, so it's only a matter of time before this ends up covered in mud. Oh, so many doggies. Hiya. Hiya. Be my friend. You chill out, have a good day. It does actually look like it's quite well signposted. Um, so we've got Port Gory, which is down that way obviously. And there's this gate past the silver mines turret you can just see in the background there. So that's what you're aiming for basically when you come onto Little Sark. I am told that the path down to the Venus Pools is very, very slippery, which is fantastic because I've already said um, my shoes are not equipped for this at all. So this is going to be really good fun in my beige hoodie. Although the one thing is whenever you've got sheep, you've got hundreds of sheep poo. And our host did say to us that the path down to the Venus Pools is very slippery. I was just expecting it to be slippery with mud. No, I'm not slippery. with sheep dung everywhere honest to god man that has surely got to be a baby look oh how tiny god. it is it's a tiny wee tiny little lamb oh it's so cute Gemma was just saying hope they actually have a signpost on the venus pool because i can totally tell we go down there and do loads of beautiful cinematics swimming in the rock pools blah 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 and then we get in the comments in two weeks time saying yeah that wasn't the venus pool so you need to go back again so because that is completely something that we would do
even if you want to like stop there and we can just like dump our bags here and then go down to the pool from here it's probably as a good time to highlight the fact that i don't think i've ever actually seen a picture of the venus pool so i've got no idea what i'm looking for google to the rescue the adventure continues Three hours later. I don't see a sign, but I think this looks more like what we're looking for. Oh yeah, we made it! Crystal High five. clear. Bosh. Oh yeah, I need a swim after that. Yeah. Let's get in there and go for a swim before this tide comes and carries our jackets away because we've left them halfway up the hill. Yeah, absolutely buzzing that we found the pools in the end. However, I said before, I don't know if I would recommend heading here with kids. Like, I can't see an easier path to get back up the mountain again. So yeah, I still don't really know if I would recommend it because it's a proper clamber over slippery rocks. So just be very, very careful when you're heading here. And yeah, assess whether you actually want to head here or not because I think the way that we came is actually the only way. On the other side, it looked a lot more vertical. So just putting it out there. There's another pretty pool. Do you want to go in again? Eh, uh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> Hot chocolate time, let's go! <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to Cara Chocolates? Very rude. Hot chocolate, some free cake and some homemade chocolates. Now that is the best yes. way to follow up from any sea swim. Flooding back just like a wave. I didn't actually think I was hungry because we've not had lunch yet. We had a big breakfast and we're saving ourselves for dinner. But that is so good. It is proper spark to hunger in me. Mm, that is so good. Praline caramel. I've got two of them and I'm so glad that I did. <laughs> the praline from here is just amazing. Like we got it in an actual bar last time. Oh. And I think we might need to do that again to take home with us because. Mm. That's so good. What did you get? I got vanilla praline and then she asked me milk or white. And I was like, well, both. Because <laughs> I can make my, my mind up. Um, and I also got a hazelnut truffle. I don't know what to have first. <laughs> Heaven. I'm in paradise man. Definitely worth a visit after you go to the Venus pools and stock up on energy again with chocolate. Oh, so full bellies. And we've got some more chocolates for the road as well, which is good because it's a 45 minute walk from here <laughs> back to our homestay. And we don't have bikes, but we're gonna go back and chill out at the chill-in homestay just for the rest of the evening. And then maybe go out for dinner later on tonight. But I'm feeling that hike and that swim, to be honest, because I'm, I'm so tired. I think a nap is definitely on the cards. Gemma's oh. once again wrapped up for winter. It was really cold. How we were in t-shirts, like... How we were in a bloody swimming pool. Now yeah, it's just suddenly winter and again. I'm back in like my hat, scarf and gloves. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's so cold. Oh, we went back, we had a little lie down, and then we're just gonna go out for dinner. There's a restaurant literally just down the road from a chillin' called Nicole's. We've not actually been there in Sark yet, no. so I'm quite excited to go and check that out. And I need a big hearty dinner just to round off my trip in Sark, I think, because I've had such a good time. It's been lovely, hasn't it? So relaxing. Yeah, despite like the weather being not as sunny as we might have hoped for, like it's it's not exactly yeah. put any dullness on the trip. It's if anything, it's given us as an excuse not to run around like absolute headless chickens the entire time because that's normally what we do on these kind of things. We try and do, do and see as much as we possibly can, especially yeah. when it's good weather because we feel like we owe it to the video and to the content to just spend all of our time creating. Whereas this time, because we were kind of limited with the bad weather and what we could actually do, we spent a lot more time just relaxing. Yeah. 
which I, I mean, think is good for us. <laughs> we have been out since <laughs> half past eight this morning. We got yeah. back at about a four five. or five, yeah. And then we kind of chilled out for a little bit. But I think walking as well, it's given us time to just like chat and just chill. Yeah. So like, that's kind of given So it's been a really time. nice getaway, I've got yeah, to admit. Nice. But I'm excited for dinner. We're going to round it off with dinner at Nicole's. We've both ordered the vegetable curry, which smells amazing. Can't wait to get tucked into it. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, even though it's not been entirely what we expected, the weather hasn't been necessarily in our favour, but we've still had a great time, then please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more of our videos, and come on our journey, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, guys, literally just finished dinner. Got back to the hostel. The skies have cleared. It's a message from above, the fire pit's lit and we're going to have a big bonfire to finish off our time in Sark and fingers crossed we might actually get those stars we promised. We've got the other camera sitting on a time lapse as we speak, I'm going to go and set the GoPro up and we're going to go and sit by the bonfire until the stars come out. Hopefully we might be able to share some of that with you guys as well. And that is what your black jeans look like <laughs> when you get off the tractor. They were wearing the black jeans, what were they? 3,000 pound camera? I know. I can't even <laughs> see you right now because my screen is covered in dust. Jim was already getting a kip in already. Mmm. Oh, so good. Oh, I got the marshmallows <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Alright, so breakfast was really good. Okay, so breakfast was really good. <laughs> Strain's dried off a little bit. We're gonna go for a little wander. This is actually really more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> this is the dream. Gemma's wearing the biggest jacket she owns, so she's just walking about like this. Like, so uncoordinated. Yeah, I think after a climb like that, that water is looking very, very rewarding. And I do stink a little bit, so I need to go for a bath. This is the worst idea ever!